Oh. Fuck, what day is it? Oh, fuck, it's Friday night. It's 10.10. Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. And what we just witnessed tonight was, without a doubt, the worst Friday night football I have ever seen. We saw two games. Let me get my mobile phone out so I can remember the scores. We saw some of the shittest rugby league games I've ever seen tonight. What a heap of shit. We saw the Melbourne Storm beat the Gold Coast Titans 42 points to 6. I was so fucking sleepy watching this game. And then we just saw the Tigers beat the Broncos 48-0. 48-0. Now... This review is going to be very short because I don't have much to talk about because tonight's games were absolutely shit. Now, I'm fucking tired watching it. I'm fucking pissed off. I had a long day at work. I come home. I get a glass of Coke. I get a can of Coke. I had some bread rolls there lined up. Sit back and enjoy Friday night football. Hoping at least one game would be decent. And we got absolutely shit. Now... God, where do I even begin with this fucking review? Because I just want to go to sleep. That's how bad the fucking games were tonight. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about the first game. Melbourne Storm beat the Gold Coast Titans at football training tonight, forty-two points to six. It wasn't even a game. It was like watching footy training. Dead set. Um, Cameron Smith was great. He's probably best on ground to be honest. Um, Nelson Osolo Nelson Solomona was great. Scored two tries. Munster was good in his first game back from injury. Uh, Papa Housen was dangerous. Brandon Smith was a handful. Um, fuck me. It was such a shit game. Um, as for the Titans, well, the only player that really had a go, I reckon, was Brian Kelly. He had a, he had a decent game. Fodda Waker was okay. Um... Yeah, nah, what a um, what a boring game. Melbourne absolutely destroyed them. Even though Mel Melbourne were a bit off themselves, they made a lot of errors. Yeah, they were a bit boring as well. What did I make? 16 errors Melbourne, 14 errors Gold Coast. No wonder why I was falling a fucking sleep. Yeah, look, I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. I'm gonna give the Gold Coast Titans performance tonight a one out of ten, and I'm I'm gonna give the Melbourne Storms performance a seven out of ten. My best three on ground. Number three, Ryan Pappenhausen. Number two, Nelson Osofa Solomon who scored two tries off the bench. And number one, my man of the match, Cameron Smith. Let's move on to the next game. West Tigers 48, Brisbane Broncos 0. What in the fuck did I watch? Some of the Broncos' defensive decisions tonight was terrible. Corey Oates got injured. I hope he's okay. It did not look good. I think he'll be out for the season. His knee was popped out. It looked absolutely terrible. There goes the fucking vacuum in the background. Yeah, fuck this. Look, it was such a shit game. Honestly, Leilua and Garner were great. They scored two tries. Benji Marshall was great. Harry Grant was great. As for the Broncos, I don't want to talk. There's not much to talk about. They were, they had zero fucking effort. They didn't have a go. Seabold should just fucking resign. Because at the moment, he's just embarrassing himself. And he's embarrassing the Broncos, in my opinion. I don't give him any... I don't, I don't have any sympathy for him at all. It's an absolute mess at the Broncos. I don't know how the Broncos fans are watching the team at the moment because it's not even a team. It's just a individual thing where they all play for themselves and they don't give a fuck. They get their paychecks and they don't give a shit. Uh, Seabold's lost the dressing room, clearly. As for the, um, the West Tigers, well, they, they played... Really well. They just did it. They just did what they had to do. It was just a fucking shit game to watch. Um, I'm going to give the Broncos performance tonight a 0 out of 10. Absolutely no effort. Uh, no attack. Nothing at all. They showed absolutely nothing. One, one of the worst performances that I've ever seen from the Broncos. And the Broncos tonight get a 0 out of, zero out of 10 from me. They were fucking terrible. And as for the Tigers... I give the West Tigers performance a, a 9 out of 10. They were pretty much perfect. Almost. Anyway, how many errors did the Tigers make? Actually, I want to know. 8 errors. I mean, 
Well, they completed 87%. Broncos are just lacking confidence with the shit coach there. Um, as for my top three on ground, I'm going to go... Number three, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Luke Garner. Number, number three, Luke Garner. Number two, Lushani Lua. And number one, my man of the match, Benji Marshall. Four and he was absolutely terrific. Tonight was one of the worst Friday night, football, Friday night footballs that I've ever seen in my life. And I hope that Super Saturday is a lot better than this because what I've seen tonight was absolutely terrible. And fuck's sake, what a shit Friday night football. Anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. Make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. It means a lot to me, even though I'm a bit negative tonight. But when you have two shit games of football like that after working and you just want to come home and watch the footy and you see that, of course you're going to be in a shit mood. But anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. Hope you guys have a great Saturday. Good luck on your multis on the weekend or if you have a bet. Um... I'll see you guys tomorrow night for the Saturday football review. Saturday football review. Until then, stay safe and have a fantastic Saturday. See you guys in the next one.